Here we go. I think that joining the Black is Beautiful performance um, will inspire people because that's what music does. I wanted to join because when we sing these words, I wanted to penetrate the hearts of people so they really get a clear understanding of culture, of being Black. Those words in the songs are so powerful, I think they're going to move people to change. I hope that Black is Beautiful helps set a tone for our community and helps bring us together around the, the urge and the need for change. This is beautiful classical music by Black composers about beautiful Black lives. Following the murder of George Floyd, a lot of us started thinking about how we could impact communities through our role in the arts. And this is what sparked Diane, I believe, to look to create this partnership and this project, uh, both with Exigence and also being able to bring in the school and other organizations. So I think just the spirit of that project, just the spirit of wanting to bring these folks together and bring these ideas together. Um, even though it was sparked by tragedy, it's something that continues to help to heal our communities. I know it's going to be very difficult for all of us to do this music. Um, it, it hits to the heart very deeply. But um, Eugene Rogers has said he does not want this to be just a lament over what was lost. He wants it to be a call to action. I gotta say, having Dr. Eugene Rogers come here is gonna be incredible. He's a luminary and a visionary, and he's really well known in the choral world. So we are thrilled uh, to have him and his choir here. And his choir exigence, they're, they're phenomenal. One of the best choirs in the country. Exigence is so excited about being a part of this historic concert. And I just love the title, Black is Beautiful, and um, uh, Diane Retallick and her vision, uh, and inviting us with, with, to work with the Eugene Concert Choir is a huge honor for us. Exigence um, is known for its excellence and its uh, connection to the Sphinx organization, which is also known for its excellence and for amplifying uh, people of color as part of their programming and part of their um, even educational programs as well. So to bring a group like that um, and being able to have the University of Oregon a part of it is an important thing where we talk a lot about bringing our students diverse and inclusive experiences. So to be able to partner with another organization in town who also has those same values it just gives our students an opportunity to have engagement that they wouldn't normally have. I'm so excited to bring this music and these tremendous artists into our community. We know this is a community that, although its heart is in the right place by saying celebrate diversity, there really is very little. I couldn't just perform these great works of black composers about black people, black lives, without getting an authentic voice to join us. So I'm so excited to have Exigence 
this choir of Black and Latinx artists join the Eugene Concert Choir, have us all stand together with the colors of our humanity. I think it'll break open people's hearts. That's what I'm excited about. It might be painful, but I think it's necessary for this time. I'm sure there'll be a lot of excitement coming out of it um, and a lot more conversation. So I don't see this as the end. I really do see this as the beginning. I think that's why I was excited about it because Eugene is not diverse at all. I don't see a lot of people that look like me. And so to be able to sing these words in music, to touch the hearts of the people in the audience, I'm excited. And to be a part of it as an African-American woman, it's, it's gonna be very awesome.